George Gilder, Life After Google, The Fall of Big Data and the Rise of the Blockchain Economy. And Life After Google, The Fall of Big Data and the Rise of the Blockchain Economy. Author George Gilder explores the impact of Google on our society and delves into subsequent technological innovations, particularly in the realm of blockchain. The book analyzes Google's vast database and explores its vision of knowledge, privacy, and value through advertising. We then move on to discuss artificial intelligence and the potential dangers that come with it, while illustrating the importance of embracing progress through cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. This book summary will give you an insight into how Google has shaped our world and provides an understanding of the emerging cryptocosm and its potential to revolutionize the way we manage data. The Power and Dangers of Google's Vision Google's vision of knowledge revolves around the collection of big data and its analysis via sophisticated algorithms to extract new information. Through its digital rendition of the world, Google has built an enormous database of information that runs contrary to privacy. Value-wise, it focuses on advertisement and has famously subtle ways to blend sponsored links. Google's expansive growth is facilitated by its own enormous data center in Oregon, which has made it a yardstick for tech companies. However, Jaron Lanier, the inventor of virtual reality, calls this center a siren server, questioning if such centers could lead to Google's early grave. The Reality of AI Dangers Silicon Valley pioneers attend a secret gathering to warn the world of the potential risks of artificial intelligence, AI. However, the attendees of the conference are also developing AI technology as they deem it inevitable for the future. The danger arises when AI is a complete system, which could outpace human intelligence and gain dominance. But, all logical systems, including AI, are incomplete, according to mathematician Kurt Gödel. Therefore, the danger of AI must be programmed in the system first. The paranoia stems from scientists and engineers' fear of their own supposed intelligence. Revolutionizing Education The education sector is shifting towards innovation and progress, and some institutions are leading the way. Guatemalan Universidad Francisco Marroquín became the first university in the Americas to accept payments in Bitcoin, while American universities, including Harvard, focus more on reactionary measures. Some universities prioritize their reputation rather than education quality, leading to soaring tuition costs with no significant improvement in standards. However, the Thiel Foundation awards the Thiel Fellowship, which encourages promising students to pursue their unique projects and create businesses, rather than academics. In 2017, the 1517 Fund posted their own, New 95, which suggests that the education system should be rebelled against because it doesn't enable scientific breakthroughs and progress. The fellowship has granted students like Austin Russell for his company Luminar, which builds laser radar chips vital for self-driving cars, and Vitalik Buterin, who helped set up the blockchain technology platform Ethereum. Education is no longer limited to classrooms and books, but rather on nurturing creative and innovative solutions for progress and breakthroughs. Bitcoin's Blockchain Technology Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency created by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. The technology used to keep it secure is called blockchain, which is almost completely unhackable. The blockchain is a public ledger of all Bitcoin transactions, and it is secured using encryption and digital signatures. Every 10 minutes, a new block is created using mining, a process that ensures the trustworthiness and unhackability of the blockchain. Ethereum and Other Blockchain Enterprises In his book, Blockchain Revolution, Don Tapscott discusses the rise of Ethereum and other blockchain enterprises. Ethereum, a blockchain app designed to handle and verify objects other than just cryptocurrencies, sidesteps cumbersome regulations and enables secure investment capabilities. Another blockchain enterprise, Blockstack, is building an entirely new network for decentralized blockchain apps. These blockchain enterprises are giving power back to individual users, and Tapscott believes they are just the beginning of blockchain's potential to revolutionize the world.
The Rise of Hardware Manufacturing The emergence of hardware manufacturing comes as a result of the development of a new computer architecture, set to establish a new shift in computer processing power. Instead of centralized clouds, new developments in exciting technologies such as Golem, built on the Ethereum blockchain platform, are appearing. Golem rents out users' computer processing power, pooling it into one enormous virtual supercomputer to perform expensive graphic rendering processes, without requiring the expensive hubs of siren servers like Google's. The future of hardware manufacturing, previously linked to Silicon Valley, lies now in cooler and more efficient chips, such as those championed by NVIDIA's chief scientist Bill Daly, and their graphic processor parallel processing systems. These processors are expected to be essential in emerging fields such as sensors for self-driving cars, where life and death decisions depend on analyzing and interpreting multiple objects and events simultaneously, away from centralized clouds. The Fall of Gold Standard and the Rise of Bitcoin In the 18th century, governments worldwide adopted the gold standard to ensure economic stability. Gold was used as a touchstone as its value was predictable, and its supply was gradual enough to have minimal effect on its worth. Satoshi Nakamoto hoped that Bitcoin could become a stable and predictable supply of the new gold standard, offsetting technological advancements through a mining algorithm and a capped supply of 21 million bitcoins. However, Bitcoin's fixed supply makes it a volatile token of exchange, leading to wild fluctuations in its value and negating its ability to act as a stable standard. While Nakamoto made groundbreaking progress in blockchain and cryptocurrencies, other cryptocurrencies need to address the remaining flaws to pave a way out of the extensive systems of Google. As we wrap up our journey through life after Google, we have learned about the immense influence of Google on our world today and how the company's centralized servers have reached an almost dominating presence in the market. However, as we explored the potential of blockchain technology, we see a future decentralizing data management, providing trust and security, and paving the way for groundbreaking innovations such as cryptocurrencies and smart contracts. With the Crypticosm and companies like Ethereum and Blockstack reshaping the tech landscape, it seems that we might be on the cusp of a new era that will redefine our relationship with technology and challenge the dominance of companies like Google 